Hey guys and welcome back. In this video, we are going to see how to fix the Windows security errors. So if you are also getting error like your IT administrator has limited access to some areas of this app or page not available. So if you are also facing the same problem and you are not able to access your Windows security app, then you can follow this video till the end. I'm going to show some of the most popular and effective fixes one by one. And I want to make one request before we start with the fixes. Do let me know in the comment section which of the fix worked for you so that it can help the users who are facing the same problem. Now before we start with the fixes, I want you to make sure that the user account that you are using on Windows is an administrator account. That is the first thing. And then second thing is make sure that there is no third party antivirus is installed on your computer. Now once you are done with that, let's begin with the fixes one by one. Now I want you to open PowerShell in admin mode. So just right click on start button, click on Windows PowerShell admin. And then here I want you to run one command. I'm going to keep the command in the description of the video. So you can just directly copy it from there and paste it like this and then you can run it. It is going to repair Windows apps and Windows Defender and just ignore the errors if you get any and let this operation get over. Now once the execution of the command is over, you will get the prompt like this which means you can just close this PowerShell and then do a restart on your computer and then check your Windows security app. Now in the next method, I want you to open registry editor. So just hit Windows plus R and type regedit. Now I want you to click on H key local machine which is this one expand it and then expand software under software you have to look for policies it's right here expand it now within policies you will find this Microsoft expand Microsoft now under Microsoft you will find Windows Defender like this so just right click on Windows Defender and then click on delete and then click on yes like this if it is not deleted at once try to delete it again but finally it's going to be deleted like this and then you have to close this registry editor and then do a quick restart of your computer and then check whether the problem has resolved or not now for the next step i want you to open group policy editor and we are going to delete the windows defenders records now to do that just hit windows plus r and now here you have to type gpedit.msc and it's going to open up like this in case group policy editor is not opening up in your computer it's because of the reason that you are running windows home edition if you are on pro or enterprise edition the local group policy editor is going to open up but don't worry even if you are using the home edition you can still unlock or enable the group policy editor there is another video of mine which is going to show you how to enable the group policy editor the link to that video is in the description you can click on that video open it watch it and then enable your group policy editor and then you can return back to this fix and then open the group policy editor now here i want you to click on computer configuration then coming inside it i want you to expand administrative templates now inside this i want you to expand windows components now coming under here you have to look for microsoft defender antivirus it's here so just click here on windows defender now here on this right pane you have to double click on this one allow anti malware services to start up with normal priority make sure this is disabled click on apply then ok then double click on turn off microsoft defender antivirus here also click on disabled click on apply click on ok now you have to click here on client interface then double click on enable headless ui mode disable this one also click on apply and ok now once you are done with that you have to return back to this left panel and then minimize windows defender antivirus and then scroll down till you find windows security just expand it 
then inside it you will find virus and threat protection just click on it now coming under here on the right panel you will find this setting hide the virus and threat protection area double click on it and you have to disable this also click on apply click on ok and then you can just close your policy editor now right click on your start button click on powershell with admin gp update space forward slash force this is going to force update all the policy changes that you have made in the group policy editor once the computer policy update has completed successfully do a quick restart and then check if that has resolved your problem in the next step right click on your start button click on powershell admin now i want you to run some commands and uh, i have kept these commands also in the description of the video so you can just directly copy and paste and also you have to run these commands one by one so you cannot copy all of them together so these are the commands you can copy them one by one like this and paste and then run even if you get errors when running some of these commands you don't have to worry and then just keep running the rest of them once you are done with that just close your powershell and then restart your computer and then check if the problem has been resolved or not now in the next step you have to right click on your start button click on settings then click on apps on the left panel then click on installed apps now from here you have to scroll down and then click here on system components from here you will find windows security app click on this three dot icon click on advanced options make sure that background component permissions is not set to never then scroll down click on terminate then click on repair then click on reset once you're done with that just check if that has resolved your problem if none of the solutions have worked for you so far then i suggest you to do an in-place upgrade in which the microsoft is going to upgrade your computer's operating system to the latest version and it's going to repair all the issues that are present in your computer without deleting any file or application so all the data and the application will remain as they are and only your operating system is going to be upgraded to the latest version and in most of the cases doing an in-place upgrade fixes all the errors that are present in your computer now if you want to do the in-place upgrade you can follow my another video the link to that video is in the description as well you can click on it and learn how to do the in-place upgrade and fix your problems so anyways that's all for this video i hope you were able to fix your windows security error so don't forget to give a thumbs up and let me know in the comment section which of the method has worked for you i'm going to see you in the next video thanks for watching